right, good morning. Well, actually, it's technically the afternoon. Yeah, it's 12.30, but it feels like the morning for me. Sophia just woke up from a nap, so I'm trying to hurry as fast as I can to go get myself some lunch because I only have, like, a short window of her being okay in the car because she just, I don't know what it is. She just hates being in the car unless she has her bottle, but obviously I'm not back there to give her her bottle, so... I literally brought a million toys in case, well not in case, because I know she's going to throw the toy that she has. So I just got my options. I'm like prepared this car trip, hopefully. <laughs> At least I'm trying to be prepared. We're just going to go grab me some lunch really quick and I thought I would just start the vlog here. I've been wanting to eat healthier because I've been eating so bad. My skin is like freaking out because of how bad I've been eating. But I don't really feel like going in anywhere with Sophia because I would have to like hold her. So did you already drop your toy? Did you already drop your toy? Yep, she sure did. Great. I'm gonna probably grab that before we go. You already dropped it? So anyways, so we're gonna get Chick-fil-A, which I'm not, I'm not mad about, but I'm also not happy about it because I really want to start eating healthier, but I'm also too lazy to like take Sophia out of the car and do that whole thing. So drive through it is, but I'm gonna go give her her toy really quick and then we're gonna head over to Chick-fil-A. Okay, that was a mission, but we are finally back home. You're probably thinking, Rochelle, where's your Chick-fil-A? Well, let me tell you where my Chick-fil-A is. So basically, we got to Chick-fil-A and the line was just insanely long. Sophia was already having a meltdown, so I was like, there's no way we're gonna last in this line. So I had to drive all the way back to Jersey Mike's, which I didn't wanna go inside and like see anyone because obviously I look like an absolute mess. But we had to go inside to Jersey Mike's and of course, it was like the busiest day on planet Earth. So there were just like so many people there, but everyone was super nice. They were all like complimenting Sophia, saying she's so cute. Everyone was like trying to get her to smile and stuff. So it was fine. Ended up getting Jersey Mike's, but I'm not mad about it. I feel like this is a little healthier than Chick-fil-A anyways. So it worked out, I guess. But anyways, after all that, I'm excited to eat my lunch. I cannot wait. I just get the original Italian. Clearly I like Italian things. I married an Italian man. I love Italian food. That's probably my favorite food. So it only makes sense to get the original Italian sandwich, you know? This is so good. I would give you a bite if I could, but you don't have teeth. She's looking at me like, mom, give me some of that food. I'm excited because we're starting purees really soon with her because she is so ready to eat. She's gonna be six months old on December 4th. So she's definitely ready to eat. Comment down below if you've done baby led weaning or if you did purees because I still don't know exactly what I wanna do. So yeah, I haven't like fully made my mind up yet. I think I wanna do purees just because I feel like I would feel better about it, you know? But if you've done baby led weaning, definitely comment down below and let me know how your experience was and if you liked it. And also if you've done purees, let me know your thoughts on that as well because I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna do. All I know is this girl has definitely got to start eating solid foods pretty soon because she is so ready and interested. I'm getting ready because I'm about to leave so you will get my nails done. These are what my nails look like. My pinky is completely gone and I have like a bad bruise on it, but yeah, we're gonna get that fixed. I actually though, I'm not even gonna show this hand because it looks like a disaster but I actually was super obsessed with these nails. They're just like French tip, but we put like the chrome powder on top and I really, really love them. They're so grown out though, but I got these nails and they honestly made me want to keep getting acrylics just because I really love them. But yeah, I think I'm going to just do like a brown color. I'm not too sure. I want to do a color though. I don't know if I'm going to do brown or like a light pink, but I did get a package and I really want to open it with you guys because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So I ordered some clothes for Sophia because I want her to have like a cute little Thanksgiving outfit, but also she just needed more like long sleeve onesies and also pants because she doesn't have enough pants right now. So the first thing I got is this pack of three onesies. I love H&M for that reason. They just have different packs, which I really love. So I just got these three ribbed onesies. The first one is like this white color and it's a long sleeve. She doesn't have enough long sleeve clothes and it's pretty cold here now. And then this like tan cream color and then this like taupey brown color. I love neutrals for her as you can tell just because it's really easy to like layer, especially with like different types of jackets and stuff like that. Like she has really cute flannels and stuff. So I just love having neutral basic pieces. And then I also got a pack of five leggings for her. First pair is just this really cute pink floral pair. And then we have this white pair. And these three are just plain colors. So like a tan, pink and then this grayish charcoal color so i'm very excited about all of those and then this is what i think she's gonna wear for thanksgiving so this is the last thing that i got from h&m but probably what i'm most excited about it's just these really cute waffled overalls it's this really pretty purple color and i thought this would look good with like one of her onesies underneath it like a long sleeve onesie and then also i recently got her the cutest beanie let me show you 
It's this little smiley face beanie, and I've been putting her in this like literally every single day, so I think she'll wear this with that outfit as well. I definitely want to go get more of these in different colors because the quality of those are so amazing. And today, Zach was at a meeting for something pretty exciting, so I wanted to show you guys. Basically, if you don't know, him and one of his partners recently acquired Kook Slams, and they're doing a collaboration with Common Room Roasters, which is just a coffee shop. So they got the coffee, Today, there's a light roast and a dark roast. This is just what it looks like. It looks super, super cool. It's just very exciting seeing like a legit product in person. So by the time this video is up, you'll be able to actually purchase this coffee. So if you're interested in trying this out, I'll leave a link down below to the website. If you guys are interested in purchasing some coffee as well as some merch, we have like a bunch of different merch on the website. I just want to show you guys that because I'm very excited as you can tell. But yeah, I'm just going to change really quick and then I'm going to go get my nails done. I cannot wait to have a pinky nail again. Okay, I just got done with my nails and I'm literally obsessed. So this is the color that I got. It's like this brown and I switched up the shape. I wanted to do square, but because I had almond before, we could only do like this coffin-y shape. This might be my favorite color right now. I know everybody and their mother is getting brown nails, but I've always liked this color. So yeah, I had to jump on the bandwagon. I feel like a new woman now that I got my nails done. Okay, here's the nails in better lighting, but I am actually obsessed with them. They look so freaking good. They're just like the perfect chocolate brown and they have like a little bit of a shimmer or like glitter, I guess you would say, but not like obnoxious glitter. I don't know. I think they turned out so freaking good. Definitely perfect for Thanksgiving, but honestly, I feel like this is a color I would get year round, even though it's definitely a fall color. But anyways, we're back home now. We just got some pho for dinner because we didn't really feel like cooking today. I'm trying to show you guys pho and Zach is out here coming up with giveaway ideas. Basically, Zach just came up with a really cool idea. We're gonna be doing a Kook Slams giveaway. So comment your Instagram down below. We're gonna make sure that you're following us. My Instagram, which is just Rochelle Moss, and Zach's Instagram, which is ZC2, and you also have to be following Kook Slams. So I'll have like, all of the Instagrams and everything down below, but yeah, comment your Instagram on this video. We're gonna pick a random person and give you guys some merch. We'll also like DM you on Instagram to let you know if you were chosen. So yeah, comment your Instagram handle down below to get some free merch. So anyways, so we just got some pho. I always get extra noodles because the noodles are the best part. Zach got like garlic noodles and beef, which honestly looks really good, but this is like my favorite pho. So more noodles just come in here. And then I got the broth. Okay, so change of plans. I'm actually making myself some frozen fried rice because I found a bug in my food. <laughs> and this is literally my favorite pho restaurant, but it's okay. We're just not gonna talk about that. Maybe I'll have better luck next time, but yeah. I'm gonna be making myself this fried rice from Trader Joe's, which honestly, if you've never had this, it's pretty good. I guess I'm not that mad about it, but definitely have to hurry now though, because it's cutting it close to Sophia's bedtime. So wish me luck. Okay, so it's been a minute since we last filmed. I think the last clip was of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was going great and we were having like a nice chill Thanksgiving. We always go to like a hotel to get our Thanksgiving dinner just because we'd much rather do that. It's been like our recent Thanksgiving tradition. So yeah, so we just went to the hotel. It was like a lot of fun. We were having a great time. And then we got home and realized that we had a leak in our house. Basically, we were walking throughout our house and every time we would walk on our floor, our socks would get soaking wet and we're like, what the heck is going on? So we looked a little closer and realized that we have a leak under our ground so basically we had some people come out and yeah we have like a really big problem with our house right now so there's a high possibility that we're not gonna be at home for Christmas which is kind of unfortunate but obviously like we need to get that fixed just because like our floors are like completely warped now from the water and stuff like that yeah that's like a whole other problem so we've just been trying to like figure this out and like have people come and check on it and stuff like that and that's why we haven't really filmed because our house has been in disarray too. We had someone come out and they set up this like machine which basically absorbed some of the water. It's just been so loud and obnoxious so our house is just a complete disaster right now. This is the part of owning a home that I feel like is not as fun. Like if stuff goes wrong you can't call your landlord and be like hey come fix this. Like you have to fix it all yourself so that's definitely not the fun part of owning a home. But yeah, obviously we have Sophia, so like we wanna get this water issue solved because water can cause mold. We're just trying to work it all out right now, but that has been an unfortunate thing that has happened, which is why we didn't vlog anymore after Thanksgiving. Say hi, Zach. 
So now that we're all caught up, today we're gonna go to the mall. We're gonna go run a couple errands. We're gonna try and do some more Christmas shopping. We also have to get a couple things for Sophia because she started eating solids. So we have to go get a bib for her because we don't have any bibs. Well, I mean, we do have like cloth bibs, but they're way too small for her. I don't know what happened, but they're just super, super small. So we're gonna go do that. We had to get out of the house for a little bit because if we stay in the house for too long, we're gonna lose our mind. I feel like the problem just keeps getting worse and worse. So with everything going on in the house, we just wanted to get out for a little bit, take Sophia out, get some fresh air. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. Probably can't even see me, but this is our life as parents now. The amount of times we've changed a diaper in the back of our car. Good thing we even... got this little tailgate. I know, we have like a little tailgate on our car, which honestly is so helpful, but we're like a pro at changing diapers in the car now. She ain't my first rodeo. Nope. It's so funny too because other parents when they see us doing it, they're like, oh, the amount of times I've been there, like that dad last time, remember? Hey, kid. Chew on your hand. So yummy, yummy. Hi. Good thing you did it now. I know. Thank God she did it now before we got into the mall. We're back home now. We actually got zero Christmas shopping done. <laughs> but we went and got sushi, had a nice lunch, and it was still fun, but haven't gotten any more Christmas gifts, which is kind of stressful, but let's just not talk about it. <laughs> Zach is currently peeling carrots for Sophia because we're gonna be giving her carrots tonight. She's tried sweet potatoes, I want some. She's tried sweet potatoes, and she actually kinda likes sweet potatoes. It's like hard to tell because when you introduce a new food to a baby, they like gag. So it was kind of hard to tell if she liked it or not, but we're gonna be giving her carrots tonight. So I'm very excited about that. Are you excited to have some carrots? Also, she took like a 20 minute nap in the car. I tried to put her back down when we got home, refused to sleep. So I'm probably gonna put her down to bed early tonight. So he's making her puree right now. I'm still definitely interested in like baby lead weaning, but we wanted to start off with purees just because it's all new to her, like the flavors and everything. She doesn't really eat that much, or at least I don't think she's eating that much of the food when we give it to her. She's more of just like exploring it, you know, and like seeing what flavors and okay. consistencies she likes and stuff. Do you think she swallows a lot of it? She swallows some of it, but not like a lot. He's an amount of it. She eats like one piece of a carrot in the long run. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Because the bowl's okay? like still full. You okay? Wow. So yeah, so anyways, doing carrots. But when we were at the mall, we stopped at Target because we had to get some bibs for her. Eating is a mess. Like she is covered in food from head to toe. So, so, oh, I hate the way these feel. Oh my God. Oh, you're going to have to touch these. Is anyone else like really weird with the way things feel? Like, if my hands are dry, I can't touch paper. That The thought of that is like nails on a chalkboard. Is that a disorder that I have? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's probably some type of disorder. But anyways, we did get her these silicone bibs. Um, it's just the ones with like the catcher at the bottom. Ooh, I hate the way those feel. These were honestly the only bibs that Target had, but they will do. So hopefully that'll catch some of her food we have the neutral bullet baby and then we also got this steamer they were sold out of this for so long at target it took us forever to finally get this in stock at our target but yeah we saw they had one left and so we snagged that up real quick but this has been so good for steaming her food i definitely feel like this is worth it i know we definitely could have steamed it over like a pot or something like that but i just like having everything for her and having it kind of separate from our stuff so definitely love this little steamer we're gonna finish making her purees and then we're gonna feed her Okay, so we have a lot more updates regarding the house. 
basically we got some information back that there's asbestos in our house which if you don't know what that is it's not good so since they're going to be demoing a lot of our house they have to like get rid of all the asbestos because if those particles are like in the air it can be very harmful that's really exciting like pretty much there's asbestos everywhere in this house just because of like the year it was built i guess that's pretty common in like the older houses but so yeah so that has been insane also the water has gotten 20 times worse like our house actually is not livable anymore like it just smells the air quality in here is so bad so basically bottom line is we're leaving today at three it's currently one so i don't have much time to like pack everything up i had no idea we were leaving today so this is kind of last minute but i'm very grateful that we're able to leave today because i want to get out of this house as quickly as possible yeah so that's currently what we're gonna be doing we're going to an airbnb now and we're gonna be here for the foreseeable future i have no idea how long we're gonna be staying here i need to pack a bag for sophia i gotta bring all of her stuff we're probably only gonna pack like necessities tonight and then come back here tomorrow and pick up some more stuff just because we're gonna definitely sleep in the airbnb tonight but i don't think we have time to like move everything today so we're definitely gonna have to come back and do it in like a couple trips before they start demoing and stuff but i'm really excited because a new play kit from love every came in the mail which is honestly perfect since we're gonna be in an airbnb i'm gonna have to find new ways to keep sophia entertained so i'm definitely going to be bringing this love every play kit as you guys know i'm a huge fan of love every this isn't sponsored or anything but i do really love their play kits the cool thing about love every is they have like a subscription service so you can get a new play kit every two months so this play kit is specifically for five to six months it's called the sensor play kit and yeah it just comes with this really cute book so it just shows parts of me so it has like nose mouth cheeks ear like it just shows different parts of her which i think is really cool it also comes with this like spinning rainbow it just has different colors and it has a ball in it she's already staring at this like what is that mom but this is just really cool to teach her like the different colors. That's definitely gonna be good for tummy time because she can just like play with it while laying on her stomach. Oh, and then there's also this like tummy time wobbler. Look, she's already spinning it. Can you hear her in the back? She wants that so bad. Oh my gosh, guys, look at her. She is like, what is that? Okay, so that is definitely a success for her. I'm telling you, these Love Every Play kits are just so amazing. So anyways, the next thing that you get is this Tummy Time Wobbler. It's weighted so she can like move it around, which I think that's super cool. Look, bub. Do you hear her playing with that? That's so funny. She loves it. And the cool thing about this is it's made with baby safe plastic. And then like this book is made with recycled paper and soy ink. And this is made with a water-based non-toxic finish. And then you also get this organic cotton rainbow ball. I already know she's gonna love this so much, but I just love like all the bright colors because she is very into bright colors right now. You want this one? Look at this one. Oh, she has so many toys right now. She's like, what do I do, mom? There you go. Is this like Christmas for you? Oh, and then this is super cool, but it's like magic tissues. So you like pull it and then another one comes out. And then last but not least, you get these play socks. They're just socks that you put on her feet. And when she kicks them, they have little bells. I already know she's going to be obsessed with these as well. I cannot wait to use these. And they're made with organic cotton. So that's everything that I got in this Love Every play kit. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of their play kits. Also, they have a really good tummy time mat, like a play mat. Yeah, so definitely check out Love Every if you haven't already. I honestly can't rave about them enough. I feel like this is the perfect gift to give an expecting mom because Sophia has loved Loved every single kit she's gotten so far so I'm definitely gonna be bringing all of these toys to the Airbnb but I do have to pack up all of her clothes and stuff now so I'm just gonna stop rambling and that's what we're gonna do Good morning. It is the day after Christmas. It has been a minute since I've picked up this camera. Oh man, where do I even begin with what our life has turned into? So basically, we spent Christmas in an Airbnb. I did not want to do that because obviously it's Sophia's first Christmas, but you got to do what you got to do at this point. So yeah, we spent Christmas in an Airbnb. We're spending New Year's in an Airbnb and get this, the next four months in an Airbnb. Which when we heard that number, I almost pooped myself. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, how long are we staying here? So yeah, so we're gonna be in this Airbnb for so long. It's crazy because when I think about it a little bit more in depth, it's like Sophia's almost gonna be a year old by the time we're able to leave this Airbnb, which kind of blows my mind. So we're gonna be planning like her first birthday and everything while we're not at home. <laughs> We've just been living out of suitcases pretty much. Um, 
And yeah, the Airbnb is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's one of those like three-story townhomes. So it's been really hard for Bentley to go up and down the stairs just because his legs are really bad. And there's no backyard, so Zach has to go out and take the dogs out. Oh wait, really quick, we're ordering Starbucks. Anything else for you today? A grande hot chocolate with almond milk. Uh, can we do the vanilla sweet cream foam instead? Also, that has been my go-to Starbucks drink lately. I have been living off of Starbucks hot chocolates. Ask Zach, I get one like almost every single day, it's so good. So bad. So bad for me, but it's so good. Anyways, we're going to our actual house right now just to go do like a check-in. We're having a guy come to give us a quote for our bathrooms because that's another update. Literally everything in our house is getting ripped down. I don't know how much I already told you guys, but basically we found out that a lot more of our house is getting torn down than we thought. We have to have someone come today to give us a quote on our bathrooms because both bathrooms are getting ripped out. They told us to since it's been a month since like the incident happened. It's no longer classified as an emergency, so they're waiting to get the asbestos out when? January something? January like middle 11, of January, something. yeah. Basically, this is just gonna be a lot longer of a process than we anticipated. So Christmas this year didn't go as planned, but it's fine, we have next year. And next year she'll be a year and a half, so I feel like she'll know more of like what's happening. But yeah, that's just kind of like our little mini life update. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, so if I think of anything, I'll fill you guys in later, but Right now, we are gonna go to our old house, like our old house. It's still our house, but our broken house. And um, I'll try and vlog a little bit just to show you guys what the house looks like right now because it's an absolute disaster. They already ripped out all of our floors. Um, did they do anything else besides the flooring? Nope. No, so pretty much all they did is just ripped out all of our floors. Well, they packed up our whole house, so like, it's completely empty now too like furniture is all packed away and stuff so yeah it's just like an empty house with no floors <laughs> love that okay so we just got to the house okay i'm just gonna show you guys really quickly what it's looking like in here yeah they like ripped up all of the floors that everything in there is oh my god it's literally covered in mold in there that is disgusting i'm not even gonna open that door it's covered in mold the baseboards are all messed up everything is like taped off all the carpet is taken out like what are those floors even that's like the original floors i think but yeah carpet is gone out of all of the rooms this is what our house looks like it's so crazy that's what we're working with so far you're back at the airbnb if you hear miss rachel in the background just disregard that trying to keep sophia entertained so miss rachel is going to be in the background but i'll give a little overview it's a disaster right now because we just have christmas gifts and everything everywhere there's our lousy christmas tree with no ornaments yeah um we're definitely going to take the christmas tree down tomorrow i think and we're going to bring it back to our house just because there's no need to have it here anymore but i wanted to do a really quick like what i got for christmas in this vlog just because i personally really love these videos and for being parents, Zach and I got a decent amount of presents this year. I honestly didn't think anyone was going to get us anything. <laughs> I thought it was going to be all about Sophia. Yeah, Zach got some good stuff. He already stained one of the things I got him, but let's not talk about that. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I'm very, very grateful. But yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I got is this crew neck from White Fox and my sister-in-law Kyra got it for me. I've been wanting some stuff from White Fox for a really long time. So I was very, very excited about this. And then Kyra also got me literally my dream Stanley. Speaking of that, yeah. they have Stanleys at Target. No. They're along the whole front thing, they had white, pink, all the colors. No way. Yeah, right well, right my husband did get me a Target gift card, so maybe I'll go get another one. No, I'm just kidding. I have enough now. But this is the one that I've been wanting for so long, so I definitely feel like a bougie mom with this. This is the color that I've been wanting. So now that I have this Stanley, I honestly don't think I need any more. I even gave my mom my old one just because I know I'm gonna be using that one. And then my mother-in-law and my stepfather-in-law got me this matching set from White Fox Boutique. So it's just this really pretty royal blue hoodie that says White Fox right there. And then that's what it looks like on the back. And then they also got me the matching sweatpants. If you know me, you know that matching sets are my jam, so. 
yeah i've already worn this and i'm obsessed with it it's so comfortable it's just everything i've ever wanted and more so i was very grateful for that then i'm going to show you guys what zach got me so the first thing that zach got me were these pair of converse what are these called com comedes garçon it's a converse collab and this is just what they look like I have been wanting these shoes for so long, but I would never buy them for myself because they're pretty expensive for Converse, honestly. So when I saw these, I was very, very surprised. I've been wanting these for years, honestly. Every time we go to Nordstrom, I always look at these, but I never get them, so hubby got those for me and then oh my god these next two gifts i don't even know which one i want to do first because both of them are just like mind-blowing i'm gonna do this one first so he got me the freaking dyson air wrap which well tell them <laughs> when you open it okay so I probably would have only gotten the Dyson Airwrap if I didn't open it like a month early, but basically Zach got she this. Yeah, Zach got this a long time ago and I saw it under the tree and I guessed what it was because I was like, that looks like the Dyson Airwrap. And basically, I should be a lawyer because I convinced him to let me open it early. So, a scammer. I'm a scammer. So I opened this very early. Yeah, I almost like crapped myself when I saw this because I was not expecting it. It's so expensive, as you guys know, but I've been using this thing so much and I just love the way that it makes my hair look. I still can't believe that I got this. Definitely felt spoiled with this one, but since I opened it early, he got me something else. Let me show you what he got. He freaking got me a new computer, which it's actually funny because a couple days before Christmas, I was on my laptop. It's old. Yeah, it's super old. And I was on my laptop trying to do something and my whole computer just like froze. It basically like died on me and it wouldn't like it wouldn't let me click on the screen and so I was like getting so frustrated at my computer and in Zach's head he already knew that he got this so yeah I was like freaking out like what is wrong with my computer. Little did I know I had one underneath the tree. My father-in-law also spoiled us. He got both of us $100 gift cards. I got some other gift cards and little gifts like that too which was insane. And then my mom, it's so funny because I was over at her house and I literally ordered a waffle maker and I told her, I was like, oh, this waffle maker is going to get delivered to your house. So like, just let me know when it gets there. And my mom was like, Rochelle, you're about to ruin one of your Christmas gifts. And I was like, why? It's because she got me a waffle maker. So she was like, you need to return that right now. But yeah, my mom got this waffle maker for us, which I'm so freaking excited about this. I've wanted this for so long. It's also going to be really good for Sophia when she's baby led weaning because I can make her little waffles and stuff like that. So yeah, super excited about that. Shout out to my mom. And then my mom also got this. So my mom got us this really, really cool painting. It's just a picture of Zach, Sophia and I. And this was hand drawn, which is actually mind blowing. So we're very excited to hang this up on our wall. Um, it was just, yeah, in our house when we go back one day, whenever that is. Um, but yeah, that was just like a very meaningful gift and something we're gonna keep forever and ever and ever. So definitely love that. I got some other like little things. Like I got this really cute jewelry holder with my name on it. And it's just one of those like travel jewelry cases. Got some other little stuff, but the last like big present that I want to show you guys is this. Are you kidding me? So my mother-in-law and stepfather-in-law also got this for Sophia. And it's just a sign that says her name. We're going to be redoing her bedroom. And I want to have like an accent wall in her room. So this is going to look so nice above her crib. This is another thing that Sophia will be able to keep forever and ever. Speaking of something Sophia will be able to keep forever. I promise this is the last thing I'm going to show. But this is also for Sophia. It's just this really cute lovey. It's like a teddy bear. But please look at the bottom. It says her name on it. And my mom got this for her. And I just think it's so adorable. So even though we were in an Airbnb this Christmas, it was still a really nice Christmas. Comment down below how your Christmas went. And also what your favorite thing was that you either gifted someone or received one of my favorite things that we gifted someone was we got my mom what is it called that the video camera thing alexa show 8 alexa show 8 so basically it's like a skype camera type thing like you can video call with your family and my mom and my grandma have not video chatted in like a really long time i want to say years because my grandma lives in germany and obviously they don't see each other all the time so we got that for my mom and we also got one for my grandma so we're going to be shipping it out to her my mom was like in tears when she found out she could finally video chat her mom so that was definitely one of my favorite gifts that we gifted but what about the switch Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. We also got my little brother a Switch. Not Luke, but my other little brother. 
and that kid almost had a heart attack. He was so excited about that. So that was definitely another one of my favorite gifts that we gifted. But anyways, I hope that you guys had a great Christmas if you celebrate it. And if you don't celebrate it, I hope you had a great holiday season. Sophia is attacking her father right now. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog here because the beginning clips of this video were all the way from Thanksgiving. So <laughs> I will see you guys most likely in the new year, which is so crazy. But that's another thing. I can't believe that the year Sophia was born is almost over. Like every time I think about that, I almost wanna cry because like in 2023, she's gonna be a year old. I, it's just, I can't even can't believe that it will never be 2022 again. Makes me emotional. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs> Bye!